I'm Todd Atchison for Lakeland TV's Sights and Scenes, and we're here at Hillman Ferry Campground in Lyon County, Kentucky, where the first ever sled dog race in the South is about to take off. And we're going to talk to some of the teams and mushers today and find out what they have to say about this unique event. There's no snow required for this particular type of mushing. That's because it's called dry land mushing. And what they do is they use a cart like this with wheels on it. Some guys have modified bicycles and scooters, and others have really, really decked out pro-type scooters. And the basic idea here is, obviously, to have these dogs be able to pull them on dry land where normally they would have snow. So Chip, tell me some of the basic things that you cover in your basic keelboat classes. Well, we start off learning some terminology. And terminology is like talking Greek to some students that, that don't know anything about it, but they quickly pick it up, like port and starboard. Uh, so, speaking of destinations here in Lyon County, we had a chance to take you to some of our area bed and breakfast for a look at some of the more non-traditional places to stay in the Lakes region. And welcome to another edition of Destinations. I'm Todd Atchison, and today I'm joined with Robin Palmer. Now, Robin works for the local tourism association, lakebarkley.org, as well as the Chamber of Commerce. So I'm uh, getting double duty from Robin today. But today we're coming to you from Catawba Park, and specifically what I believe is the best view um, in the Lakeland area. Robin, tell us a little bit about um, what you do for the association and maybe some of the events that are coming up. Well, Todd, what we do is we try to help local tourists as well as residents, show them where to stay, where to eat, you know, things like that, inform them about the area. And we are really excited about our next event coming up, Barbecue and Harvest on Barkley, and it will be right here right in here. Old Catawba Park. What gorgeous day we have today, you know. I think we've got uh, about 20 knots of stain today, um, and it's cooled down. This is perfect sailing weather. The wind's out of the north, which isn't ideal, but uh, you really got to love the weather today. These sailors are going to be having a ball out there, but it's not all about fun today. This is a serious race, and these competitors are out to win, and we're going to get alongside them here in just a minute. Well, we just passed a group back there. They're kind of bunched up tight. Um, it looks like it's going to come down to a very technical race today because they're sailing literally directly into this wind. And this is going to be a huge problem if we lose this road. Now, this is a state highway, so the state should have this under control. And they've got some pumps set up over on 295. But with the rain falling, the question now is, can this water get pumped out of here quick enough with the rain that's going to continue to fall overnight. And I can tell you, I'm going to go out here, this has all happened relatively quick. This is rainwater, by the way. This is not lake water. This has happened in the last few hours. And we're looking at about, uh, we're close to 10 inches of water in here. These pumps here are what everything down at that interchange right now is hinging on. If they can pump that water fast enough, they can pull that level down. But the challenge is, with the rain coming in, can they pump it out fast enough before that rain dumps more water in? Well, I'm here with Warden Parker at the Kentucky State Penitentiary, and this is kind of an historic moment. As you can see in the background, we've got inmates getting bags ready for uh, the impending water that's coming here in Lyon County. And Warden Parker, can you tell me a little bit about how you were inspired to do this and a little bit about what's going on here? Okay, we're here on 1055 where Ralph Beatty Road meets 1055, and this is an example of one of those areas you do not want to attempt right now. Um, and it, you might think you can make it through the water. It might only be a couple feet deep, but the problem is you don't know what's happened underneath that water. What are we looking at? What are we looking at right now? Where are you located? Well, the, the storm is actually broken, it's moved. Uh, the, the pictures you were looking at earlier, it literally came right over top of it. It's a very quick moving storm. Uh, just a lot of wind, a lot of driving rain, and then it moved real quick. 
tornado sirens went off, and we're trying to catch up with it now. Okay, okay so Todd, are you right risk. now? Uh, again, I'm having to maneuver around trees in the road, power lines. Um, the KU crews are out. The police are out in force. It's, it's quite a spectacle over here. Todd, have the conditions improved any in the, oh, four hours you've been out driving around this morning? Well, I wish I could say that they have, but it, it doesn't appear that they really have to this point. Some stretches have gotten a little bit better. Um, I just got on um, the Waterson and expected it to be a little clearer than it actually is, and it's still pretty, pretty treacherous. Yeah, you can't even uh, really see the roadway right now. No, there's a one, there's a, a nice groove in one lane, but the other two are, are pretty much solid. Are you I'm seeing? Gonna be jumping on 65 here in just a second. Have you, are you seeing on the uh, internet? Uh, major backup. And uh, it's a historic first here on the uh, the fourth night, no third night of the Republican National Convention. I'm uh, waiting for the president. The president has arrived in the city. Uh, Local 6's dash cams have certainly been busy these past few days, as has No Man 6. And uh, we want to check in with, with Todd Atchison. This is the man who actually is out logging all the miles for us in the morning. And I was uh, speaking to you a little bit this morning about some of the things you have seen, and you just have some incredible stories. Absolutely. Well, I'll, I'll tell you the thing that has struck me more than anything in all my years of running a dash cam in some capacity somewhere, hurricanes, tornadoes, the breadth of this is just, it's overwhelming. And you know, usually when you go to cover an event, you can drive out of it. It's not the case with this. It's just more of the same, more of the same. Every community, every highway, it's the same image. Because you have been all over. I mean, when we were speaking to you just yesterday morning, you were in Mayfield and Murray and Benton and Kawa, and you were all over. Yeah, actually, my adventure started uh, the parking lot uh, off of Kentucky Dam uh, about 11 o'clock on Monday night, and I just kind of continued with the storm. And again, the, the imagery just, a lot of it's haunting, you know, watching the lights go down in Mayfield. Um, you really don't understand how much you rely on, you know, the peripheral light or the ambient light that's around you until it's just gone. And that, that's sort of an eerie image that will always stick with me. Well, it's Monday the 24th of October, and they told us Wilma was over about an hour ago. But you would never know that here at Bonita Beach where... We're still getting significant wind gusts of up to 50 miles an hour. And let me tell you, the Gulf is kicking, guys. If you can see behind me, this Gulf of Mexico has really churned up. And I have to tell you, the winds are still phenomenal. For no fences, for double line at 21 million pounds Well, hello and welcome back to Harvest and Barbecue on Barkley, where I have Ann Blair Thornton, the reigning Miss Kentucky, with me. And what a thrill it is to have you here, Ann. I, Ann Blair. Yes. I understand we have to use both <laughs> names. It's a Southern it thing. It is a Southern thing, yes. You, you got to have both the first and middle name, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I have to ask, first of all, have you had any barbecue today? I have not, but I'm looking forward to oh my gosh. some Will you go have some barbecue I with will. me a little bit? I will, absolutely. Excellent. Now, you know, in a day, typically, how much wood's going to go through this smoker? We'll use, we'll use about half of one of these stacks. This is a lot different from your typical backyard grill. This is actually a smoker, um, so the convection heat actually cooks the meat, and it's that smoky flavor that we're really going for. Right. Go Lions! All right, so I'm here at the student section at the Lyon County Lions' first home game. Guys, we're going to kick some butt tonight? Yeah! All right! Let's hear it. Well, this game's about to get underway, so we'll bring you all the action in just a minute. It's truly a unique family destination. We also wanted to thank the folks down at uh, LakeBarkley.org, Bo Choate, executive director, and his entire staff. If you're in the area looking for something to do, stop by and see Bo and those folks. They know all the destinations in Lyon County and can truly help you plan your day. Also wanted to thank the folks at Exit 40, um, all the businesses that are making this possible. So if you're in Lyon County, stop by Venture River, maybe head out to uh, Buzzard Rock, check out one of the other marinas in the area. We've got Eddy Creek, Catawba Harbor, and Buzzard Rock, as you saw. Um, lots of unique destinations 
here in Lyon County. And we'll be bringing you more of those destinations on Lakeland TV. So keep watching.